and the do you have to write Pythagoras theorem? Okay, now, great question. Do I have to write Pythagoras theorem every single time? Well, guess what? The great thing about this is, can you see all the questions? We've done them the same way, the, the same series of steps. Now, what mathematicians do is when they see there's a process, and we go over and over and over again. We can say, look, we can boil this down to instead of a, a, a series of steps, I can boil it down into a formula. And that's what we're going to do in this last part. Okay? Going to boil it down to a formula. So can you just, just, yeah. just a little bit? Yeah. Okay, all right. So here we go. Now we're going to think about this kind of situation. Rather than like, you know, actual numbers like negative 4 and negative 1, what if you have any two points? Right? Any two points. Okay? So I've got my A and my B. I don't know what their coordinates are yet, but I'm going to give them some names, okay? So this first one down the bottom, I'm going to call it x1, y1, okay? Because this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. The reason why I attach a number is because, well, I've got another x and y coordinate up here and I don't want to mix them up, right? So these are the first pair of coordinates. Oh, the base going to be x2. Yeah, that's right. So this is another x value up here, I'll call that x2. And another y value, I'll call that y2. Okay. Okay. So I've got, I've got an x and a y coordinate here, and an x and a y coordinate here. Okay. Now let's do the rise. Let's do the rise. Okay. Now, how did I get this vertical distance in here? All right. Look back at the first example. I did six take away one. Right. <coughs> Look at this next y. example. I did three take away negative you one. Like the y, y, two and the y. Yeah, good. So I'm taking y away one y. one y coordinate from the other. I'm going to go y two minus y one. Okay. Yeah, which is going to give me this length. Okay. Now I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't know what the numbers are yet. Right. So I can't simplify this just yet. So we can't decide what our x y. No, not yet, right? You'll see why. You'll see why. <laughs> Get it? Okay, now, in the same way, in the same way, for the run for this horizontal distance, instead of the y coordinates, I'm going to subtract the x2. the x coordinates. Good. It'll be x2 minus x1. Okay? Now, at this point, before, we, we would get what these numbers are. We'd say, oh, look, this is 4. And, oh, look, this is 9. And then I'd put them into Pythagoras' theorem, okay? Now, I don't know what the numbers are, but I can still do Pythagoras with it. Watch. Uh, where am I going to have enough space? I'll fit it over here. I'll say AB squared is equal to, right? And then I need to square one and square the other. Can you see that? So I'll write Y2 minus Y1, and I square the whole lot. So just look back at how we did this before. Y2 minus 1, in the previous case, it gave us 4, right? So then you said, well, it's 4 squared. So down here, you can see, well, this might be 4, and then you square it, okay? So there's this one, and then I add on, I do the same thing for the x's, right? x2 minus x1. We worked out what that was. It was a number, and then you square it. So this line here, I know it looks long and awkward, but all it is, is Pythagoras. Okay, uh, this is the last time I'm going to write it up here. Pythagoras is theorem. Okay. Alright, now, one more step, one last step. I actually want the distance, not the square of the distance. Okay, so what did we do in the previous cases? Have a look there. Yeah, I took the square root, right? So I'm going to take the square root of this whole right-hand side. I know it's very long, right? But that's okay. When we add <laughs> actual numbers to put in here, it'll be fine. And we um, took the square root, so I'll say, look, we only want the positive square root. Right? Okay, now, see that? See that line right there? That is the distance formula. Uh, it's, it's so important, let's write it one more time in big letters, in, and I've even made a box for you. Okay, there you go. It's the square root of y2 minus y1 all squared plus x2 minus x1 all squared. Okay, now I'll admit this does look really long and difficult to remember, but look at where it came from. Okay, it came from Pythagoras, and we're good at Pythagoras. We've been doing Pythagoras for years. Okay, 
you can see it's something squared plus something else squared. That's from Pythagoras, right? So that's how you use this formula, okay?